All right, time for drafting once again. Here we open up. Haunting her goes. All right. <laughs> well, I guess uh, only really two things come to mind here: uh, Juggernaut and Sylvan Ranger. There's really nothing else here. Yeah, that's just completely unplayable and limited. And I'm not going to take a uh, Sylvan Ranger over Juggernaut. Oh, Juggernaut. Okay. Got a few options here. Uh, take Shivan's Embrace. We could take Scroll Thief. Or we take Child of Night. And I think Shivan's, Shivan's Embrace is, uh, or just Shiv's Embrace, not Shivan's, uh, is good enough. I mean, we could also take the Cloud Crusader, which may be fine, but I just think Shivan, Shiv's Embrace is good enough to have a pick here. Okay, well, we could take a Berserker, but that just seems underwhelming. And Red White is very underwhelming, so I'm not going to take this Wild Griffin or Elite Vanguard. I'm just going to keep shipping it. I'm going to take this Sign of Blood. Okay, this card is actually quite good. I've played against it, and if they get it out, pretty much win. You don't have the answer for it. And with our Shiv's Embrace, and we've, we're already kind of committed to red, and this will really push us towards the red route. And geez, 6-6 six, six Flyer, that kills our board. Now, that that being said, I, I'm more likely to take something like, well, not Pyretic Ritual, but Cultivate if I open one. I'm going to take this Act of Treason. Hopefully pick up some, jeez, uh, that's a late Squadron Hawk. Uh, Viscera Seers, or not Viscera Seers, uh, Vampire Dudes, man, if that's not a sign that white is open, but we will be rewarded in pack two, I believe. We could take the expanse here, but it doesn't appear as though we're going to be splashing at all. And a Baron, Barony Vampire will be quite welcome in our three slot, seeing as that. We don't really have any. I'm not sure if Arc Runner is the kind of deck we want here, so we're going to take the Might Rot. We don't really have much removal, and it looks like we're trying to get to the to the late game more. Haunting Echoes table, oh man. I probably will not take the Volcanic Strength, so... Chandra Spitfire is pretty bad, but I'm... I mean, it, it blocks the Pegasus and etc. So, another Spitfire, but I'm going to take the Berserker here before the Spitfire. I don't need to. Berserkers is quite good. I mean, everybody was all about Chandra Spitfire. And really, even with a Tim, it's, it's still not that exciting. Speaking of a Tim, I would love one. Because, really, you have to have the, the Spitfire. And you have to um, have the Tim as well. And they're both turn three plays, so which do you play first? And
So this is turning out to be an okay uh, deck, I suppose. I mean, it definitely needs some removal pretty badly. You know, some... Okay, can you Minotaur another horror? Or even that. Um... I doubt I need another four drop. Well, I'll just take the candy minotaur. Because that candy minotaur just stops the blue white um, beatdown deck. I'm not talking about blue white flyers. I'm talking about blue white beatdown. You know, with Sylvan Rangers and white knights, etc. I mean, granted, if they have an inf infantry weapon, it's not so much, but. Oh, awkward. Corrupt and ancient outkite. I mean, we're still going to take it because uh, it's removal and we don't have any. So, corrupt it is. Our white deck could have been pretty good. <laughs> but, granted, it was only two squadron hawks. Aether Adept, our Shiv's Embrace, seems pretty bad against us. Bad as in good for them, bad for us. And this condemn. Man. Hopefully they'll just be all fighting for it though. So we're going to take this corrupt. And we have removal. Storm Golem is fine and all. Uh, as is Berserkers. But we really are lacking in removal. So let's pick that up. Okay, uh, I suppose Skeleton gets us to the late game, right? Uh, hello, another beater seems just fine. We haven't seen any, um, sack creatures, but I mean, if we pick one up, which we're trying to, because we do have this act of treason, this Skeleton would be very welcome, so... I'd rather have that than some random 3-2 or 4-2. And look at that lightning bolt. Very light. So we'll definitely snag that. Wow. Skeleton and Bloodthrown Vampire in the same pack. And Chandra's Outrage. Well, since we already took the skeleton. Jeez. This is hard. We have an act of treason. We have a skeleton. We don't have any bloodthrown vampires, but it's just so hard to pass up on a Chandra's Outrage. Because on its own, skeleton can be good, but on its own, bloodthrown vampire can be pretty mediocre. And Chandra's Outrage can kill those flyers that we're going to have a problem dealing with, as opposed to bloodthrown vampire, which. We can use active treason with. So, since that's a two card combo and Chandra's Outrage, or, uh, yeah, Chandra's Outrage is just play it and you're done. I want to take that over. Gosh, I hate seeing that though, you know? Wow. Pyroclasm doesn't exactly kill us, so I'm going to take it. That is very late. And we're passing an active treason for that person to our left to think that the black red deck is open which is very sad had I taken the uh, the vampire definitely snagged this act of treason but since I didn't Arclasm it is alright not a whole lot here I think I'm just going to take the stone golem Seems fine. Yeah, Stone Golem it is. Four fours are fine. Bog Raiders, and I don't think I need another five drop, so I'm gonna take the Expanse here. Find time to pick one up. Okay, uh, four two beater. Why not?
We'll see if this mind rot makes it. Pick up a balloon brigade that probably not main decking. Hmm. Because we play this, so we pretty much are guaranteed to have to play uh, 18 lands. And with this corrupt, so it'd probably be a 10 8 kind of deck. Sure, we'll take the Goblin Tunneler out of the, uh, the deck. Ball Graders for the Mirror. No, these are unplayable. So I'll just take the red card. Ooh, Goblin Pocketer. Don't know how aggressive we really are, though, so. At this point, I'd probably play a Barony Vampire over anything. Okay. We have Fire Servant, Lightning Bolt, Destructive Force, Fling. So we gotta make a decision here. Uh, we don't really have anything to combo with our Fiery Servant. Granted, we only have 10 creatures, though. So. The Lightning Bolt kills Fiery Servant. <laughs> I say Fiery Servant because he's all fiery. And it's cuter that way. <laughs> um, I don't believe we're taking the destructive force. In fact, that could table. Even if it does, I don't think we're going to take it. Uh, I think Lightning Bolt's a fine pick here. I mean, we don't have any lava axes to finish the game with, and even if we did, we aren't going to play it. Hopefully, we can pick up some dudes to um, put our shiv and brace on. shivs and brace on. Here we have Doom Blade. Pretty good. Uh, Easy pick, and it's foil, oh boy. We already have the one quag sickness, so instant speed removal will be quite welcome. Alright, here's our blood throne vampire. We need at least one. Maybe use that other skeleton with it. Too bad there's a uh, specter with it. It's unfortunate, but I mean, it does combo with our skeleton and act of treason. Who knows? We could get one more. Yeah, that's not going to work. Assassinate will be fine. I mean, we're not going to play any other of these cards, like Kenny Minotaur. We already have one. And Kenny Minotaur probably. Well, we only have 11 creatures right now. Another Blood Throne Vampire. Nightwing Shade or Ember Hauler or Manic Vandal. Well, Manic Vandal has a pretty bad drawback. We have Juggernaut or Stone Golem out. And I'm just going to keep taking the Blood Throne Vampires. Although, Ember Hauler might be good. Yeah, Sign of Blood, Ember Hauler. Probably not the best. So. Nightwing Shade has been fairly unimpressive. 